welcome to my channel. So this is a first for me. I've recorded videos before, but I've never recorded a makeup tutorial and I thought I'd try something different. I've been wanting to do this for absolutely ages. So today I'm going to be filming a tutorial about how to do this look. I was originally going to go for my go-to grungy look and it kind of just turned into like a kind of like copper glam look instead. But, but I like it, I'm happy with it. So if you want to see how to get this, please carry on and watch the rest of the video. Right, so to begin with, I'm going to start off with the Nip and Fab Cow Fix Moisturiser. I got this in my glossy box. Was it my glossy box? Yeah, my glossy box in January, and I've been using it ever since, and it's really good so far, so yeah. For primer, I'm using Nivea Men Post Sensitive Shave, shave Balm, whatever it's called, Post Shave Balm Sensitive. Um, Proper primers I haven't really got on with yet, so this is why I'm using this. I've started actually applying it with this blank canvas cosmetics F20 brush. I'm gonna use my NYX HD concealer in CW01. My eyes. I'm just gonna set it with my um, RCMA translucent powder. I bloody love this stuff. So good. And for the brush, I'm just gonna use the Spectrum AO6. So tiny bit, tap off the excess. Right, so for my first crease colour, I think I'm going to go in with this colour here from just this Lick and Lash palette, can't even hold it up properly, and just go into the crease with this um, Ruby Island shader brush or blender brush whatever you want to call it i don't know i think it's a rip off of one of the morphe palettes but i couldn't tell you which one i just wanted a matte palette because i have loads and i mean loads of shimmers but barely any mattes So I'm gonna go in with this lighter colour to try and diffuse the colour under my brow a bit because it looks crazy. I'm gonna go in with a darker orange now. Oh, brave. Grab my 35F Morphe palette. Naked 2 brush out of the Urban Decay. Naked 2 palette. I haven't really got many of these just shader brushes. I've got more blender brushes and I don't want a blender at the moment. And then just to wet the brush, I'm going to spray it with Avon Makeup Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I've had it like years, but still going strong and then there's so many nice 
shimmers to choose from but because i'm going for an orange already i'm gonna go for this orange color here back in with the first orange shade from this lip and lash palette once I can open the thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Just that one again. Top top top. <laughs> Spraying my brush again, wrong side. That like copper. Because I think if I want it look a bit more pigmented on the other side. So this is what I mean, it's gonna be a bit you know. I hate it when this happens, but I don't know what else to do. So if anyone's got any um suggestions, please tell me. Yes. And then um, using my Spectrum A16, this little tiny brush here, spray that, I'm gonna go in with this very light, the lightest colour in the palette from the Morphe palette. Tap the excess. Just get. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, just a bit after the inner corners because there's a bit of a empty patch and I don't want it right so that is my eyeshadow for now I'm not going to do my lower line until after I've done my face makeup so now I am going to do my eyeliner and for this I'm going to use the super cap from Save and Glory. To do my brows now and as you can see I've got like a spot here so I think I'm gonna um, conceal that first I'm gonna use some color corrector and this is literally like the cheapest color corrector it's the um, MOA pro base thing I haven't even used this in ages but YOLO just look for my concealer brush whatever that is hiding from me I've got it um, Spectrum A118 
and then I'm gonna use my very dirty real techniques splendor sponge I don't care. So, for my eyebrows, I will be using the A17 Spectrum brush with the Freedom Brow Pomade in chocolate. I've got this because I was being stingy and I didn't want to fork out for the um, dip brow. And I saw that Softa's Nails had recommended this and she preferred it over the dip brow. Mine looks a bit ick at the moment. So, what's good for her is good for me, for me, I suppose, and that is why I'm using this. to do the beginning of my brows do you find like I've got quite big nostrils and meant to start from where the Indian nostrils are well my mum said that and she's a trained beautician but to be fair I've got a hella big nose and my eyebrows are a bit stupid so I'll go in a little bit further I'll now set it with this very icky and gross looking brow coat it only looks like that because I've been using it over the pomade, obviously. I've not had it long. It's actually quite new. I think I've probably only had it like two, three months. Tops. There we go. And that is my brows and my eyes done. Right, so now it's foundation time. So obviously I put my primer on a bit earlier. It still feels a bit... Tacky, well, tacky enough. So, for my foundation, I use the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I couldn't tell you what shade. Oh, yeah, we go 20 beige because I'm beige, apparently. Now, if you've got like combination skin like me and you don't like overly thick, high coverage foundation, like I don't get on with, well with like Estee Lauder double wear and I don't like Urban Decay Naked Skin and that sort of thing, but. Obviously my skin isn't perfect, but I prefer like a medium buildable coverage and this, per, per, not perfume, <laughs> this foundation is absolutely beautiful, like, it's expensive. I got got one from Duty Free and I think it was still like £30, but I think it's like £36, £40 maybe at Debenhams, but this, and it smells really nice too, which you don't get very often with foundation, so what I usually do is blob a bit on the back of my hand, like so. I'll probably have to go me more than that. And then I'll get my trusty Spectrum V01 Kabuki brush. I'll spray it with the Avon setting spray. And then I dot the foundation around my face like so. old favourite collection last imperfection in the shade fur 
probably a bit light for me, but do I care? Nope. my BA1 <coughs> Spectrum buffing brush again. I've kind of fell out of love with sponges for some reason. Go my finger. If you notice I've got two different colour um, nails, it's because I haven't got around to doing my other hand yet. These are my new ones. These are my old ones. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to go in with a bit more of that concealer because unfortunately I'm one of these people in life who are blessed with extremely bad eye bags. All my dark circles are still there, they'll, they'll, they'll just stay there, they don't go anywhere, I live there. Like, the best part is I've had like 13 hours sleep and they're still there. I was literally born with them. Yep, and now I'm gonna just set under my eyes with my with my RCMA no colour powder. I don't want to do the rest of my face because it's pretty dry as it is, so make sure you've got no creases. This is the Spectrum AO1 brush. Right, so now I am going to do, I would say contouring, but I don't really contour anymore, so I'm just going to do like my bronzing, and I'm using the Benefit Hula bronzer, that one, it's in this whole pack, but I don't like this anymore, I've had it a while, I've always had a bit of an issue with bronzer, and I'm going to use the Spectrum CO1 fan brush. seems to pick up at exactly the same patch on both my cheeks. <sighs> this is why I didn't use it for years. I've literally had like various amounts of hula over the years and every single time I've never got on with it. Like I've got the um, do the Jew hula, <laughs> hula, hula as well but I don't get on with that either. Just bring it down my neck a bit. Go for a bit more. I do kind of get on with it a bit better now I'll start using the fan brush though. Shout out to Mickey Tutorials for recommending that. Mm, that'll do. So now I'm going to go in for blush and I am using yet another little benefit set. This time it is Rocketeur. And I'm using whoops the spectrum 05 it's just a contour blusher brush i suppose so i might try and contour down my nose a little bit which i'll use the spectrum co6 for i don't usually do this but my nose is that big, nothing can save it. Just down the side of my nose a little bit with the hula. I've got like proper contour kits and that, but I don't like using them anymore. Um, I used the iconic one for a while, but I always found that the bronzer shades were a bit off for me. Got a bit of a funny um, skin tone. Right. So now, I am going to do the shadow under my eyes, I think. So I'm going to go back in with the Ruby Blender brush. I'm going to, yeah, and then back with the Licking Lash palette, that one from earlier. 
that I can't ever open. And then I'm gonna go in with the very first shade underneath it. Might want that the excess. And then the darkest shade. I'm just gonna highlight into my brow bone with the Spectrum BO4 Angle Blender Brush. And I'm gonna go in with this color here from my Morphe palette. For mascara, I'll go in first with the Revlon Dramatic Definition on my top lashes. This is just really separating, but it isn't very volumizing. Oh, sorry, this is the um, Too Faced Better Than Six mascara. And then I'm just gonna go in with the um, Revlon mascara on my lower lashes. Yeah. Yeah. So now for one of everyone's favorite parts and I'm gonna do my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the Spectrum A10 brush and of course, it's got to be the Sleek Solstice palette. Now, I'm going to do a mixture of these two colours, which I'm sure you see a lot of people doing. And then, with my finger, I'm going to just get a little bit nose mascara's gone off now yeah yeah it's all on the bridge and then cupid's bow of course right so finally for my lips so i'm going to line my lips with my old trusty but it's a primer lip balm, I can't even remember what colour it is, it's that colour. I went to go and find it the other day and I couldn't even find it, so God knows. It's just so creamy. There we go, that I'll do. And then for my lipstick today, I'm going to go in with the MDM Flow matte well it might be a semi matte lipstick in bossy i love this it's literally like my favorite lipstick so that is the finished look i'm just going to go and do my hair and get dressed and then i'll be back with you so this is the finished look i hope you've enjoyed watching my video um hopefully i'm going to be having a lot more tutorials and stuff coming up it's obviously like a first go, so I'm kind of testing the water sort of thing. Um, sorry if it's a bit rubbish, first tries and all that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all of my social media accounts down below. I'll put them in the info box along with any products used. And just, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.